Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Comedy Simulator Extraordinaire! My name is Twitchy and we are on the LV426, a cluster of asteroids that we have been inhabiting for a little time now. This cluster includes Yakil, our first and greatest cluster asteroid. I think this is the one where we're producing uh, a whole bunch of oxygen and some food, things are going well. Tyranno was our second one and over here we are producing, uh, producing oil and this involves rather hot temperatures. Now to deal with this properly and not have our duplicates complaining about it being too hot, we need to make ourselves some environmental protection suits. To make these, the first thing we need, of course, is the research. I'm going to click on that. You can see we get some ventilation and some uh, nice, beautiful things to uh, decorate the place with, just as a side effect of that. But of course, another thing we need, another thing we need is uh, being shipped for right now. You can see we've got the SS Uranus out there. Inside here, we have got Hicks. He's going around. He's making some power. He's flying the rocket. He's having a beautiful time going, flying over towards the new place. He's got a trailblazer module on the outside, and he is going to use that to land on the new asteroid that we have not seen even a single tile of so far. The only reason that I know that we need to go there, not only do we have aluminium, gold and carbon dioxide, three very, very cool uh, items, but down at the bottom, no, no, where is it? I think it's the marsh biome or perhaps even the... Oh no, it's going to have to be the marsh biome. I thought it would be the swamp biome, but there isn't one here. So in the marsh biome, we can find ourselves thimble reeds. And those thimble reeds are what we need to make the environmental protection suits. But of course, whilst we're waiting for that, we need to prepare a few things. Of course, the first thing we need to do is the research. That's uh, all fine. That's ticking over. The second thing I think we need to do is try and figure out where we're going to put the thimble reeds. I might even be tempted to sacrifice this area here for them. If we uh, continue this farm out over this way, we spent a little bit of time uh, last time making some new ranches so that we can move our our hatches from here to over there. I think we'll do that today and maybe expand these farms out over this way for the thimble reeds. It appears uh, Hicks has had a bit of an accident at some point. It didn't give me a warning at any point. That's uh, a little bit disappointing, but I suppose this is going to happen on a flight such as this. I kind of thought he would actually go before. I, I don't know. Obviously, we've got him at the wrong point in his cycle here. Oh look, literally just over a minute until we're there. But what are we getting told about over here? Got these food reserves alone. Ah, we're okay. Look, we've got all this up coming through. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move these farms from up there to down here. And hopefully this will then give us a little bit of room to start thinking... Oh, no, no, I don't want to do that. Start thinking about how to put a kitchen up here. Because we're getting mill, mill lice, we are getting little bits of meat every now and then. It'd be nice to turn those into higher calorie dense foods. Of course, this is just one more job for these two guys to do. I don't know whether we'll be able to do that. We've got an idle duplicate. Oh no, Hicks. Uh, I mean, I suppose you are okay to be idle. You are just kind of chilling out on a spaceship. You've got, you've got up to speed, you're now cruising under no acceleration. There's nothing to do but sit and wait and then you can like turn around, fire your engines and slow back down. That food gone off there though. Rotten barbecue, oh no. Okay, we're there, we're there. Okay, brilliant, brilliant. Uh, I was hoping we'd get onto this nice and quick. We're gonna send Hicks down. Let's do it. I've never done, oh, 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 hello. We I've never done this before. Where does it look like we can easily get in? If we go through here, oh, look, oh, look at this. Okay, is, the, is that what I want? No, that's an oxyfern, no. I think I'm going to go in here. Yeah, why not? I, pre I presume he can come back, right? I I'm presuming so. Is this... Is this a presumption too far? I don't know. I don't know. Here, here we go. Here we go. He's going to land. For first time ever using one of these things. I, I'm really assuming he can get back out. First thing we got to do, of course, is try and get down underneath and maybe create some sort of airlock if we can do that. Uh, manual airlock. I don't know. Are we going to go through... Gold amount. Oh, we need to bring the gold amalgam back. We need that gold amalgam. It ain't super pretty, but we got ourselves an oxygen bubble to go live in. All right, great. We, oh, wait, we, we probably want to get some sort of bed down at some point as well. This is this is something we need to think about. No, more important, more important. Plumbing, outhouse. Got to, got to think about the very important things. I'm even going to build it down here so it's kind of down in a well. Okay, we've got a toilet down. There, there we go. That, that's the important stuff dealt with. Right, next thing we need to do is just go off on a bit of an explore. We're, we're looking... No, oh, no, I pressed the wrong button. We're looking specifically for fiber re read fiber. So let's see what we can find. Huh? What's this? What's this? A crashed satellite out in space, man. This. Oh wow. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of stuff over there. What? What is this? That's. 
That's the side of a map. That's 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 some old stuff. <laughs> Oh, do you reckon we could get Hicks to seal this in? I bet we're losing a whole bunch of gases out there. I don't know if this is too much for a first day digging. We're just we're just gonna see what we can do. Just gonna see what we can do. Oh, research complete. Textile production. Carpet tile and textile in. Beautiful. Useless unless Hicks can do his job. I'm hoping that there is enough food just generally around that Hicks can survive for a couple of days. Definitely by the time we get down here. Shame that we're losing all this gas. Really is a shame. There's some uh, there's some excellent fruit over there. That would be cool. Aluminium volcano. Another aluminium volcano. Okay, this is this is cool. Oh, I didn't account for how cold this place was. It's warmer down here, but, uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, uh, we're going to have to think about where a bed should go. I mean, we, we need to seal this in first, though. We need to seal this in. Maybe I should have brought more than one rocket. Also, all the food's up here. Uh, barbecue, going stale. Um, oh, that's not great. Okay, that, that's, that's not the end of the world, but it's not great. I mean, the end of the world's just, just over there, look. Oh no, shine bugs are keeping Hicks up at night. That's not great. Another day of Hicks digging dirt. I am totally in love with the way this place is formed. We're gonna need some uh, ladder. Ooh, ooh, come here, give me that ladder. Gonna need some ladders just to go across this gap here though. That should be fine still. Ooh, ah, it's Balm Lily, not quite what we're looking for. Wait, why is he disinfecting already? I don't, there's no problem. Oh, there's a little bit of food poisoning on there. Why? Ah, it's probably something to do with this. Okay, fair enough. Oh, another research come in. Uh, gas canisters and stuff. Great, great. That's uh, That enables us to move gases around. And we've just sealed in this area. Right, beautiful, beautiful. Now hopefully Hicks is headed down. We want to check out... Um, oh, this... Oh, radiation overlay. This is all completely safe. How is radium completely safe? <laughs> A new day, a new dawn, and everything seems to be going okay today. Hicks is uh, building a ladder. Hopefully he's going to go up and get that millwood at some point. I have asked him to get this hexlin. Let's bump it up to a seven, and maybe he'll cut it on the way past. There he can grab himself a little bit of food. What's going on over at Taranu? Food reserves are low. It's okay. They, they make their own food over there. Okay, I thought he'd do this second. I've not bumped it up, have I? No, okay, so that one's... Okay, whatever. Uh, we're going left and right here. One, because I want to go and see what's in this swamp biome, because I believe that's where we find Thimble Reed. But also, I've noticed some healing uh, hydrogen over here. I want to go and have a look at that as well. Oh, it's a beehive. A beta hive. As in, like, beta radiation. Let's, let's pull this up. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, horrific. Well, this is going to be something to play with at some point. Oh, look, look hydrogen. Okay, cool. As in, it's not just unique over here. Ah, oh, look at that, Dracos. We, 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 oh, Dracos are how you get reed fiber, right? Hmm, yeah, they're wool. Yeah. Gold volcano. Ah, oh, beautiful, beautiful. It's one of the things I've been looking for. I mean, who doesn't need an infinite amount of gold? Ooh, two of them right next to each other. But I've got to say, I can see a disappointing amount of the map for not being able to lay my hands on any... Thimble reed seeds yet? I don't know. Are these all the seeds or just the seeds I've seen? These are things to think about. I don't, I don't know. If this is all the seeds in the game, because of course, new new DLC, new game, it might not be as we think it is. Oh, <gasps> Just as I was saying it. Just as I was saying it. Okay, cool. That's that's where we need to go. How are we going to get up there without causing a serious issue? We're going we're gonna to go up here. That's how we're going to do it. Seeing these two volcanoes and this bunch of abyss light here, it might actually be a good idea to leave it, but i got more important things to do, so we're just going to go through. Ah, oh, look, there's another one. There's another one. Brilliant. Oh, man, why do gold and gold amalgam have the same color? That's a bit awkward. So one of the things we need to do, or make sure that we need to do, is, of course, get ourselves a rocket platform. If I clear this out, I can have a look at the rocket platform. But we need 800 kilograms of refined material. Now, as we found this sort of stuff, that's not a big problem. We could just take out all these golds. We're just going to have to see what we can do here, right? Oh, we've been down here so long that we've got the atmosphere suit overlay. Oh, okay, that's cool, that's cool. Look, there it is. Bam. Not, not that I've ever seen the purpose of this. All it does is highlight the actual exosuits. What, what's the point of that? Random random is getting scolded. Okay, that, that's fine, that's fine. This is why we're working on the thimble reed. I mean, it's not fine, but we're working on it, right? I'm just taking a little bit of a panic break here to try and get Hicks to actually harvest himself some food. He's down to about a thousand calories. He's going to give me a warning that he's got no food very, very soon. So uh, getting that on the go would be pretty cool. Look at that, straight up to uh, 6,400 calories. I was a 
lot of food, actually. There we go, the midnight snacks have struck and Hicks has gone and got himself some grub. Brilliant. Did he eat the whole 6,000 calories in one go? All right, I mean, well done. <laughs> Okay, one tile down, we got over half the amount of uh, refined metals that we need. This might actually go incredibly well for us. We might just need to get this little stuff. In fact, just this little uh, section here, these two should be uh, more than enough. Okay, here we go, right, rocket platform. Great, that's, that's what we want. I'm gonna bring it up over here. I'm gonna do it again because when you get too far away, it doesn't like to display the... Uh, the over uh, the the outline okay let's pop that there that that looks like a good place to do it and of course really important hicks after many trials and tribulations starvations and sleep attacks hicks has finally managed to get all of the materials together that he needs to make this rocket platform and we are on the way i'm just going to speed up time a little bit here we are on the way to making this right oh, of course he needs to go breathe Who, who'd have thought that duplicates need to breathe oxygen eh then one quick break, he's able to finish the pad. All right, beautiful. Now, the question I've got is, can this thing fly without him? No, oh, uh, I've hit change, and then we click there. Oh, oh, it's it's on its way down. Rocket platform, blah, blah, blah. Brilliant. Awesome. So if we watch up here... Oh, it, it, it happened without me even, even looking. How do I then put that... Oh, I probably should have... Hmm... <laughs> Probably should have put that over here first, right? <laughs> but anyway, we've got loads of carbon dioxide left. Much more uh, much more than we need for even a, uh, a return trip and then once again. Which means inside Uranus, I need to come into here and go to the sorting mechanism. Uh, I think we need seed and somewhere in here should be now. Why is it not here? What? Sorry? Ex explain. Why, why can't we? Why can't we pick up... Ah, because it's not been harvested yet. Let's turn let's turn that right up. Hicks, that's that's really not the best place to stand. We could probably have got you a little bit better. Even if you had stood here, it would have probably been better than waist deep in the water. Just like ankle deep is probably better. I, I mean, I might be wrong there. I might be wrong. But I have fallen into horrific boggy water before, and I, I would have rather have just got my foot stuck. Anyway, coming back inside Uranus, let's have a look at the seed over here. And do we finally have thimble reed seed? Beautiful. Good. Just turn that right up right up and some gold amalgam thanks i know one of the problems there's no way to get in and out of the nose cone okay okay well i guess we'll have to wait overnight though okay now hopefully hicks can get back into his own rocket i hope i hope we're gonna find out because i'm gonna do this no it, it, no storing materials tool tap what, what's going on with this okay of course the change was that i uh, hadn't allowed crew in and out that yeah of course why why would that not be the problem Mill lice? Mill lice? Wait, no. 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 Okay, that's too many metal ores. Let's, let's turn that off. <laughs> we'll, we'll let them bring in the uh, the other stuff first, right? This really has been a horrific couple of days of torture for Hicks. We're going to have to try and figure out whether we can do any better for him. Why are you just carrying the one, buddy? There's another one all the way over here. One of the pips got to it. Oh, no. Okay, two thimble reeds. Let's just drop those on the floor. De definitely a thing to do here. Uh, I'm going to slow down time. We're going to go out here because, Hicks, my friend, you have suffered enough. Uh, crew may not leave. No, no, no. Pilot board and non-crew exited. No, the pilot is boarded. What do you mean? Lander's ready? Mm, how do I get rid of that? Okay, I do it by cancelling the auto delivery? Question mark? Yes, yes. Um, okay, so Hicks has come out. I don't really want you to be coming out of there. Change crew. Hicks, go. Get back inside, man. Get back inside. All right, change destination. We're going home. We are going home. It's been a it's been a wild time. We've got the things we needed. We found some new materials. We've got thimble reeds. We found some balm lilies. Then we've got the pips. We've also got a toilet set up for when we want to come back. Very, very important there. Do I need to begin launch sequence? There we go. All right, brilliant. Uh, we also need to try and figure out some way of coming back and making an actual habitat here. Because, of course, getting the drex... Ooh, off he goes. Getting the drex uh, to be ranched would be amazing. That Suddenly, that would negate any need to be growing thimble reeds. Oh, and I suppose some gold as well. Poor Hicks, he's really not fared well throughout all of this. His uh, stress has nearly got up to a full 94. He's got no calories in him at the moment. Well, he's got calories inside him at the moment. Let's have a look. He's got something along the lines of 3,000 calories in him. He's got a long way to fly, but thankfully the rocket engine on here, less than 0.3 of a cycle. Beautiful. So let's come over to Yakil because I want to have a quick look over here. Uh, as you can see, we are getting uh, much of uh, the automation in place over here, but there have been some problems. I need to put some doors in place 
quick so that we can get people working our way through here. Maybe put down some ladders. And of course, we need things like the conveyor receptacle. Not the receptacle. The conveyor loader here and here. Okay, beautiful. Hopefully, Bishop will come along and start working on that. And Hicks, as soon as he's here, should also lend a hand. He is the man for this after all. His skills are second to none. Oh no, oh, if things weren't bad enough, Hicks is now making a mess inside his own little pod here. Uh, okay, well just clean it up as quick as you can, buddy, if you could. I know, I know that this place is quite unpleasant right now, so let's try and get you home. Stress vomiting, oh dude, dude, no, oh, he's hit 100%. Oh, we've, we've just got to wait for him to come home though. We've just got to wait for him to come home. There's, there's quicker ways to do this, why am I going through all the mail? I'm watching Hicks have a merry old time in here, and I'm, I'm reminded of like the the old space program where you know there was no weight to be spared. And I'm wondering what was the first spacecraft to have a toilet on it? At what point were they like, yes, this one? I mean, was it Apollo, Gemini? I don't know. I mean, I know they had bags. Does that count? Well, he's continuing to stress vomit, but we're we're landed. Well, like, like Hicks, Hicks, please, my, my friend, my friend, you you need to get out of here. Everybody in and out. I don't think he wants to leave. Hicks, 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 Hicks. Uh, move to, and then we'll come to your kill, and then we'll just, we're gonna put you somewhere nice. Where, where's somewhere nice? Here, lots of plants, go, go down here. Also, while we're at it, is he eligible, is he not? Why, why is he ineligible for this cot? I don't, I don't understand. But he's right there, assigned, beautiful. So now, hopefully, having a cot in between two plants, a whole bunch of nice stuff around, maybe we could do with picking up some stuff like this and clearing the area, but Hicks should come down from that 100% stress at some point. Bishop also not doing too well, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. It'll be fine, I'm sure. It's taken a goodly time, but I think we are ready to start ripping down some of the stuff inside these stables. We finally got to the point where both of these stables well, nearly are ready to go. Overnight, I think that's... Uh, sorry, in the morning, I think that one's going to get built up for us. Oh, of course, all the uh, notifications are down below. But talking of notifications, whilst we were doing that, I got quite an urgent one that people were running out of water over here. So I just, you know, casually went about and fixed that. Oh, the autosave. Okay, at the top here, as you can see, we have got ourselves the toilets. The toilets are the fount of all infinite amounts of water that you could ever need. Well, maybe, maybe not, but for these guys, it's good enough. Uh, the water goes through. Uh, what needs to be kept is picked up immediately by this liquid pipe, uh, liquid bridge here, straight out of the pipe. So if there's any need for water, this guy will pick it up first and foremost. After that, it comes on down and it goes to the chlorine cleaning station over here with the addition of this uh, liquid pipe germ sensor, which we've made with the plastic that we so uh, painstakingly made over here. And of course, this never-ending amount of chlorine that we've got here. We've managed to keep all this water nice and clean and then it just dumps it straight over here. Pipe work is pretty simple and of course running it off solar. But, 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 but. Uh, there's a button down here somewhere. Capture those critters. Let's wrangle these guys up and see, uh, see, if, see if everything goes well. I've got a feeling that uh, there's going to be some pr troubles involved. Of course, moving an entire farm's worth of critters, there's going to be something that goes wrong. But uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. We, we, ah, wait, wait, wait. I can, I can see already. We need to co uh, copy the settings from this over to there. But that, that should still be fine. Okay, the wrangling is uh, happening. The great wrangulation is on its way. Okay, there we go. They're being delivered. Great. Wonderful. And, and Hicks is going to fix the grooming station. Wonderful. If we could only deal with the fact that people can't breathe in here. Hmm next problem that I'd like to address, why don't we have power? The uh, the wire is contiguous, it comes up here, it goes through to the main spline. These guys have power. Mm, do they have power? I mean, the power seems to be made and being destroyed. Are we, perhaps, a little bit under-equipped? I think we might be. Oh, now how do I want to do this? Do I want to bring the spline across and up? Or do I just want to br uh, start building a new area? I, I, think, I think this might end up being the rocket side. So let's leave that. Oh, look at this. Liquefy chlorine, that's cool. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, I, I def we definitely need some more of these, and I've got a feeling, yeah, we can put down at least three more. Let's uh, let's just go one, two, three, and uh, I suppose we should dig away some of this rock. Okay, it's time for some experimentation. We're going to rip out this spindly grub flute here and see if we can't plant the thimble reed in its place as soon as Ripley gets to it. Maybe, maybe we'll do two. Look at that. Pushing the boat out. See if we can't encourage her a bit just by moving her over this way. I feel like having a single farming duplicate might be slightly overtaxing her. Just just one more person. Did we call them people? Yeah, we'll call them people. One more person should be able to do the job quite nicely. 
Okay, mild persuasion techniques only used here. Okay, I'm gonna go through it. Brilliant. Thimble read. Let's have it. What? Why? Oh no. What does it need? Okay, let let's try its counterpart. Can can we use the plant? Uh, the farm tile. Sorry. That would be really awkward. I've got a feeling actually what we need to do is plant it in some flooded area. Mm, we'll, we'll, we'll see first. We'll see. Okay, I can't plant it in the farm box either. Okay, this might be a bit more interesting than I thought. Okay, the plan is simple. We're going to drop some polluted water on top of it and see if we can't plant it then. I've, I've got a feeling not though. I don't, I don't know what's wrong. All right, here goes Bishop. A bit of polluted water goes down. Can we... Plant thimble reeds now? No. Hmm. This plant must be housed in a planter box, farm tile, or hydroponic farm tile to grow domestic. I don't. What? Do we try a reload? Do we try? I, I feel like a reload's the only thing to try. Oh, no. I mean, I don't. I just don't think anything's wrong. Okay, we're gonna try something. I've, I've got a sneaking suspicion that. No, that's not. That's not the place to put that. I've got a sneaking suspicion that I know is what is up here. Okay, diving inside Uranus, I think, yeah, thimble reeds on the floor here. Let's go back out to your kill. Uh, th thimble reed seed, you're down here somewhere. Maybe at the bottom, thimble reed seed. Okay, I, I would really like people to deliver this. Okay, there we go, bishop and bishop, beautiful. Okay, it took a surprising amount of time and it passed through three people's hands, but we managed to get the thimble reed seeds down here. What about now? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> So there is a tip for you all. If you haven't got them on the very specific map, bearing in mind rockets count as separate maps, then people can't plant it. Maybe maybe that needs to be reported as a bug. Okay, we've got ourselves another solar panel in. It says no power consumers. I disagree. Oh, I know what's happened here. Let's try and fix this quickly. <laughs> so as I was saying, we've got the solar panel hooked up and ready to go. Down here, we've even got ourselves an extra thimble reed growing. That is amazing. Growing particularly fast. It's got to be down to the sweet tools and having the uh, the farm station nearby. It almost has to be, surely. Surely. But there is one thing left to do and one thing that I've been saying that we can do for a little while here. Let's choose a blueprint. We need to get ourselves a new a duplicate on the go. That's right. I promised a, a, a viewer that they could be on here and I've not done it yet because we were, I was really scared that I was going to kill them. But now's the time. Eren Faciendum I'm going to go with. I think that's, that's how you're supposed to pronounce your name. I might have got that wrong if I did. I do a badly apologize uh we, we need to give you some skills before we send you anywhere right that that that's a thing that we need to do rocketry all the way because you my friend you're going to be our next colonizer i think we've got a rock out there a rock that we could really do with having someone out seeing if they could make the make the well in the world did you not did you not put a hat on i was fairly sure you're gonna put a hat on Oh, there we go, there we go, he's put his hat on, beautiful, beautiful, we're going to send him through the teleport, yes indeed, he's going to go and join uh, the other viewers on Torrano over here, uh, it's a lovely place, people, uh, they've not got much to do, so they're starting to get stressed, because down here it's it's not, oh, wrong one, it's not a beautiful place to hang out, what is the button I'm looking for here, this one, it's not a beautiful place to hang out, but it's the only job that's actually going in the, uh, in, in the whole asteroid, so uh, maybe we need to make this place a little bit nicer, because look at this, this is, this is unexpected. Acceptable. Okay, Aaron's ready to go. I wish you the best of luck in your new future uh, over with with the other viewers here in Toronto. And with that, I am going to... Where, where, where are you at? There we go. And with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we explored off onto another world over here. As we can see, there are some beautiful things, but we've got some new uh, mysteries to solve. And I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!